shortly going to start. And we're going to get a countdown. Maybe uh, Cairo, see if we can get a countdown. Three, Three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. All right, here we go. Pretty solid plate starting out here. Although, oh, we do have to cover that up um, uh, for Liz. Yeah. Mm, oh, not most fortunate situation for Liz yeah. there. Lizard's pushing down, so they seem to be comfortable with the speed. Meanwhile, Calculating Poet with the clean stack burns a double and gets a Tetris. Yeah, this is going to take some time to clean up uh, for Lizard, but definitely doable. Oh, the panic, but... Oh. oh, can you get the okay. J over? Yes, they can get the J over, the yeah. L over. Um, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Okay, okay. able to maintain DAS. Yeah. Getting, uh, nice. Nice pieces and nice placement. Definitely pulling it off. Okay. Uh, oh, not the T is really not dependent. really what you want there. I needs a long bar. And gets it at the perfect, perfect moment, moment there. Oh my gosh. Still going. It's both. It's whatever you want it to be, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, calculating poets gonna take game number one. Yeah, we have game. Are 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 you unmuted or are you muted still? <laughs> now I'm here. All right. I like giving my fun little flavor text game too. Is what I would say. Oh, we got an accidental 19 start there. <laughs> Let's uh, not <laughs> count that one. <laughs> All right. They're just going to probably um, restart just immediately. All right. Where's the countdown? Waiting for the countdown. We can get started for game number two. Three, two, one, Tetris. All right. Both players with the same setup here. Identical stacking. We're going to continue with the identical stacking. Yes, we are. Oh, uh, no, the, the line now bar. Now they finally decided to change uh, with yeah. the high piece, yeah. It was sort of weird seeing that offset by time. Yeah. You, you said it was the same piece. I'm like, no, it looks so different. And I'm like, oh, no, you're right. It's just like time travel a little bit. Yeah, because um, some people like to press down. Some people don't. On exactly. 18, it's more often that people aren't pressing down. Right, yeah. I will say, as someone who plays uh, Puyo Puyo, it is interesting to see that phenomenon there, too, because you always get the same pieces there. Mm. And I always find it interesting when I see players, like, start with the same builds for, like, 10 to 20 pieces in a row. Yeah. And then it diverges. Yeah. I'm just like, ooh. And then, and, and oh, no, we have a really unfortunate placement. Oh, that's... Oh. oh. Poet takes it. Yeah, that was a fast one. Oh, wait, yeah. is he still playing? Oh, he's still going. Oh, well, he's oh, he's behind. That's true. Oh. He is behind oh. by oh, still behind. Uh, a couple One hundred points. Okay, and there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, is he still going? Okay. John, so you were mentioning how the RNG works on uh, Puyo. Isn't it like they don't have the exact same piece set, right? No, they do. Oh, Puyo they players do. get the same pieces. It's modern Tetris that doesn't get the same pieces. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Puyo Puyo Tetris. Like in the Tetris. like they Any don't. Tetris. It's literally just Nestoris that gets... Well, no, Nestoris doesn't even give the same pieces because there is no two-player mode. Right, it's being done by the seed. Right. Oh, okay. It's our own community creating these, <laughs> uh, you know, custom versions of the games that make, um, you know, it much more interesting to watch because then the players yeah. don't get weird droughts, you know, just for one player, not the other. So Yeah, exactly. Um, that's really thanks to a lot of really hardworking people in our community. Yeah. Um, I actually wonder, uh, do you happen to know the name of the person who... Uh, Initially uh, created that Pure seated. Java. Really? That's yeah. not a name I recognize. Yeah. That's. I, I wonder. I wonder what they're up to. Uh, are they still doing the? Well, the Tetris gym is now being created by other people instead of a group effort now, right? Yeah, it's Kier Java's on Kier Java's GitHub. I mean. I see. Okay. Yeah. 
So Kirjab is the <laughs> creator of Tetris Gym, but of course there is a large ROM hacking community already. Um, if you guys are anybody who's like an old time TGM player know who knows Alex Kerr. Alex Kerr is one of our Legend. big legendary ROM yeah. hackers. Very knowledgeable man. Legend in the community. Um, yeah, so ROM hacking is really cool for sure. And of course, it was a ROM hacking community who also created the explanation for why the game crash happened. Shout out to Hydrant Dude. Feel free to check out his video. He makes a really good explanation on why the game crash happens. Why Blue I've, Scooty was able to beat Tetris. I feel like we have so we have multiple videos explaining that nowadays from different sides of you know, I think Eric has a video as well. Yeah. And um, Scout has a video. <laughs> I feel I feel like everyone is, is coming out with these explanations to try to bring more people in the community in various ways, uh, yeah. explaining 